everyone doing today? Everyone is sending you a big good morning. I actually look like I've got loads of fake tan on. I haven't, I'm just harassed and stressed and hot with a newborn. <laughs> We've got a couple of things planned for today, guys. A nice thing this morning, which I'm really excited but a little bit nervous about. I'm so excited. Because the last three, well, it would, in fact, we didn't do one with Isabel because I couldn't afford it. But the last two have been nightmares. And that is a newborn photo shoot. Yeah. So this was supposed to happen. I've seen mine, I've seen mine and I edited mine that yeah. you guys made. Yeah, so we have got a newborn photo shoot today for little Jace and this should have happened actually at five days old but with the issues we've had with Jace's weight gain or lack of weight gain and midwives coming every other day to weigh him, we've had to cancel the shoot a couple of times which is a little bit frustrating but completely understandable. Obviously his weight gain and his health and stuff comes before pictures. But luckily today has not had to be cancelled, no midwives coming until tomorrow so we're just on our way to the photo shoot now we're having his pictures taken by an amazing photographer hello darling photography I actually got my maternity maternity shots done with her Esme can you sit up please Sorry. <laughs> I actually got my maternity shots done with her and oh my gosh she's just the best photographer ever and I remember being in her studio thinking I can't believe in about five six weeks I'll be back here with a baby using all these amazing props that she has so i'm really 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 excited when i said before it was a nightmare with the girls it's because they were just constantly fussy babies and so we didn't get cute sleepy newborn shots i don't know if we're going to get them with jace this morning either way we'll be definitely getting our first family picture as a family of six yay i'm really yeah, excited um, well we're getting a picture of six yeah but picture of his family of six pretty, yeah that's seven. yes I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my world of fire You're my heart's desire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You said my world on fire You set my world on fire He's looking straight at the camera right now like what are you doing? I've had enough cameras in my face today Get them out and let me go to sleep <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe how much of a good boy Jace has been right now. He's been so cute. I mean, I'm not saying he's always been this good throughout this whole experience, but it, he has been really so good right now. He's just. I've had him about 600 times. <laughs> oh my gosh, he keeps waking up and have to feed him to get him back to sleep, and I've literally done it about 600 times. I'm not even joking. <laughs> so bad. It's been such a lovely experience though so far. We've got some incredible pictures and he's just been so so sweet. He's just he's fast asleep right now getting some really sweet pictures taken and it's just been lovely. This whole studio is just so peaceful and calm and chilled. And it's been really really nice just just kicking back and doing this today. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. I just want you. She's looking too adorable right now. We've changed his wrap to a great. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I can't cope. He's going in a bed. <laughs> he certainly likes being like that right now. I want these. I want. This. I want one of these hats. <laughs> I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day You set my world on fire You 
set my world on fire You set my world on fire You set my world on fire So we just left the lovely, lovely Annie's house and the shoot went so, so well. Jace was such a good boy. He did have a couple of fussy moments, but we were there quite a few hours just to make sure that we got the best shots that we could possibly get. And obviously we wanted some with Jace and the girls and a couple of family shots, etc., etc. So we were there quite a few hours. But he was such a good boy, wasn't he? It was so, it was for, for the majority anyway. of the time. The whole thing was just so lovely. If you guys have got... In, in fact, I think that Annie does all sorts of shoots. So newborn, maternity. Obviously, I got my maternity done with her. Maternity ones done with her. Um, she also does like sibling shoots, family shoots. And I honestly cannot recommend her enough. We've had such bad experiences in the past with photography with the girls and taking them to photography sessions. But she's so patient. Like Chris kept saying she's the whole time. Whisperer. Yeah, Chris kept saying the whole time we're there, you are so patient. You must have the patience of a saint. She just spent, if it took an hour to settle him for and to get him like in the perfect little outfit and settle him to sleep for just one shot she's happy to just sit there and spend an hour doing that which is why you spend so long there and I think that's so good to not feel rushed or like you're a nuisance to the person that's taking the pictures the whole experience was just so lovely it really was and obviously the girls were there and because we were there so long the girls were kind of getting a little fractious, a, a, kind of a little bored and she's like if you want to come play in my daughter's bedroom you can and she's just amazing so if you guys haven't already checked them out, checked her out, checked out her, her page then I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below so that you can do and I honestly genuinely cannot recommend her enough, she's just amazing so if you are watching this Annie thank you so so much i can't wait we're definitely taking jace back for his six month hopefully he'll have a few rolls by then however on a not so good note guys we've had a call from a registrar at the hospital who have asked if we can take jace down to be seen so my midwife has called the hospital because she's i think a little bit concerned obviously about his weight but also about the fact that he's not really doing dirty nappies i think he's done has he done three since he was born no a couple more than that but it's not it's not regular at all no it? other than he's like the ones that they do straight after the birth i think he's only done three or four since he was born um and so she called the hospital just to say what do you think is this okay and they've said mm, not really i'd prefer for him to come down and so they can do some tests and just check on him so we've just had to quickly drop the girls at chris's mum and dad's and we're heading to the hospital now with jace he is fast asleep in his car seat right now Oh. So we just got up onto the ward and we're just waiting for a doctor to come in now. I'm actually unsure what they're going to do. Um, when we got here and we said his name and said we'd been asked to come down. She said, oh, is he here for a reway? A review. I was like, a reway? Surely the scales are no different to what they're going to say from yesterday. Hopefully we'll know more when the doctor's been in a minute. This is just happily sat here, looking at all the lights, feeling sleepy. Oh, you were tired, boy. <laughs> so we've been here a couple of hours already and someone's feeling very content right now. In between sleep, in fact, he's just woke up from a big sleep. Hello, baby. It's like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Why are we still here? Why are we not at home? Why are we not being seen yet? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Rolo. <laughs> So we're just waiting to see a doctor. We've not actually been seen yet, apart from just the initial assessment, and we've been here a couple of hours now already. She's not even done the assessment, she left. Yeah, true, she took our names and, and that was it. And she'll so. be back in a minute to weigh him. It was a while ago. This place does sound really, really busy. It's not yeah. like it's not like an emergency department. It's like a, a non-emergency children's assessment ward or something, so. But I'm a bit concerned because it's 8 p.m. now already, and oh, look looks like we might be in for a long night. up with the 
doctor who came in did her assessments and all of her examinations of Jace and everything is a-okay. He's perfectly healthy, perfectly happy and she's absolutely happy with everything. She checked his heart because some babies that lose weight or can't gain weight have heart problems. She said there's nothing like that wrong with him. He definitely doesn't have a tongue tie. There's no problems with his latch. She watched him latch on and feed. She said there doesn't seem to be any problems with my supply. He's basically just a slow gainer and some babies are and the fact that the girls are all slow gainers as well kind of just makes me feel like my children are just slow at gaining weight. She also mentioned like I previously thought that maybe he didn't weigh quite eight pound one at birth and that he did hold some fluid retention due to my fluid drip that I had during labour and I don't know if I've mentioned it on the vlog before but I actually swelled up really bad. Uh, my arms and legs were massive and I could like press the skin on my leg and it wouldn't come back up it kind of made a dent where my finger had been so I held on to a lot of fluid we know that Jace held on to a lot of fluid as well because when the doctor examined him in hospital she commented on how swollen his uh, his bo bit boy bits were yeah. <laughs> she commented that there was a lot of fluid retention there and that's now gone so maybe he didn't weigh quite so much as we think at birth and maybe he hasn't lost quite as much as we think but either way he's he'll hopefully start gaining weight now she also said that it doesn't matter that he's not having dirty nappies as regular as what maybe a formula fed baby would have um, because his body absorbs all the goodness of breastfed milk and that might be why he's not having as many dirty nappies as long as he's not in any discomfort it doesn't seem like he's in a lot of pain he's not struggling to go when he does go which he isn't and as long as he's having a lot of wet nappies which he is he's having at least like six eight a day everything seems fine yeah. and she just said don't worry I know it's really easy to get caught up on oh, the midwife's coming she's going to weigh him I'm all stressed she said but don't because you're doing everything you can he's doing everything he can and just to keep doing what we're doing basically hopefully he will start gaining weight i just feel i feel loads better now yeah definitely. i'm so glad we came he's just stop worrying now yeah he's perfectly happy perfectly fine and content he's been amazing today as well he's been he's such a, a yeah he's just had a busy day bless him oh, i think he wants to, i think he wants to get home now we've just been given some medicine for thrush he's got tongue tongue thrush oral thrush that's the one um so we've just been given some medication for that and we're about to head on home. Are you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. What are you carrying? The baby or the changing bag? Uh, I'll carry the baby. <laughs> So we're finally reunited with everybody. Granny's just dropped off the girls at the house and everyone's just got into bed and just kicking back with a five minute wind down on iPads. Yeah. Are you good, Bubba? What about you, Esme, Alexa? We might be doing something really fun tomorrow. But don't tell them I told you. What? Stop secret. What did you say? What did I say? I said, we might be doing something really fun tomorrow. Don't tell them I told you, okay? It's top secret. Okay. It is getting super late, so these guys are just having a quick five minute wind down before bed. Isabel's just currently doing some colouring. Very nice indeed. But we hope you enjoyed this video today, guys. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up for Jace's cutest photo shoot in the entire world ever. We're really excited to show you those pictures. They will be with us. It's gonna be so, so cute. I'm really, really excited. We actually got some pictures with the girls as well. I know I filmed that. But we got pictures of all of us together as well, like a family one too. So hopefully we'll have a really nice family portrait to put out. So that'd be really, really nice to show you guys too. But until tomorrow night at 5 p.m., that is it for tonight. Give this video a big thumbs up and we'll see you then. Good night, guys. Bye.